welcome to Polish with Ray. I'm Rachel and today I'm going to be sharing with you a lot of new releases from Caloris to Carol. Before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do. I upload new lives watching videos every week. So Caloris to Carol has actually already released some of the polishes I'm sharing with you today earlier this month and the rest are going to be available on the Caloris to Carol site on January 22nd. I have around 20 polishes to share with you today and they come from quite a few different collections. We're going to be looking at the Anniversary Trio, which is a trio of magnetic polishes. We're also going to look at the Simple Pleasures Collection, which is a collection of beautiful curlies. I believe those are already available on the Caloris to Carol site, so I will link that down below so you can shop. And then coming to the site on the 22nd, we have a beautiful Valentine's Day quad. Two new additions to the Stellar Collection, and six beautiful toppers in the Cosmic Dust Collection. None of the polishes in today's video are capped or limited edition, so you should be able to continue shopping them for quite a while on the site. All right, we have a lot of polishes to look at today, so let's go ahead and get into the swatches. So we're gonna start off with the anniversary trio first. By the way, congratulations to Caloris to Carol for being in business for nine years. That is absolutely amazing. This first shade is called Dream Maker and it's described as being a multi-chrome base that shifts gold to green to purple to pink to teal. And it's got mermaid flakes and a multi-dimensional magnetic effect. So I was very excited to see this polish because I really love magnetics that have something extra, um, and this one, having the magnetic pigment and the multi-chrome and the flakes, it's a lot of cool stuff in one polish. When applying, I was so impressed with the magnetic pigment in here. It is incredibly reactive. I actually was able to try a different kind of magnet technique with this, which by the way, works super well with this polish since the magnetic pigment is so reactive. But as you can see, it just rushed to the magnet and revealed all of those beautiful rainbow flakes. I needed three coats to get this to reach full opacity. I was really close in two, and I think if you've got shorter nails than I do or a a less visible nail line, you might be able to get away with two, but most people are going to want to go with three. So let's take a look at the full hand swatch. On most of my fingers, I magnetized three coats and added a glossy top coat. And then on my ring finger, you can see what it looks like in three coats unmagnetized. So in direct lighting, which is what you're seeing here, you get a lot of that green base when this is magnetized and a beautiful striking purple line. And here's what it looks like in indirect lighting. Holy cow, I see all of the shifts. It's fantastic. I will say I only see the gold at extreme angles. Pictured are three coats of Dream Maker with a glossy top coat. Next in that anniversary trio is Nine Years, and it's described as being a red base with multi-chrome shimmer, iridescent chameleon flakes, and multi-dimensional magnetic effect. This polish and all the polishes in this trio retail for $12 individually, or you can purchase the entire trio for $32. Um, so Nine Years, oh my goodness, it's again, got those incredible flakes and the magnetic pigment, just such a winning combination in my book. The magnetic pigment in nine years was just as reactive as Dream Maker, so it was very easy to manipulate and work with. I think this one would be really fun to play around with when trying some different magnetic designs and techniques. So on application, I felt like Nine Years was just a little bit more sheer than the polish we just took a look at. It had more of a jelly-leaning base. So this time I used a traditional magnet technique. I applied it for 30 to 60 seconds and then went on with my next coat, continued that strategy, <laughs> I guess, uh, for three coats and the result was beautiful. Because the base was on the sheer side, the finished look with a glossy top coat was so fun and squishy and juicy, and the flakes added a beautiful pond effect. I'm just loving the combination of the magnetic and the flakes together in one polish. So here's what it looks like in three coats. As you can see, there may be just a hint of visible nail line, but honestly, in person, I didn't notice it at all. So here's what three coats of nine years looks like. Built up in three coats, magnetized and then unmagnetized on my ring finger. Honestly, gorgeous, gorgeous both ways. I actually love this one unmagnetized too because the magnetic pigment just glows against that beautiful deep red base. 
And here's what it looks like at a different angle. You can see more of a blue shift there with that magnetic line. Really pretty. Pictured are three coats of nine years with a glossy top coat. And I think my very favorite of the three polishes in the anniversary trio is La Fiesta, which is described as being a linear holographic base with Aurora Shimmer, holographic micro glitter, and white silver magnetic effect. This one's also going to retail for $12, or you can purchase the entire trio for $32. So honestly, I totally slept on this one when I unboxed it. I thought it was going to be my least favorite out of the three because I just don't wear silvers that often. But this is so sparkly and dreamy, you all. It's beautiful. Um, the holographic in here is very vibrant, super eye-catching. I think the Aurora Shimmer just adds a little bit of extra sparkle. And I was so surprised with how the white silver magnetic line stood out against the deeper silver base. It's really, really pretty. On application, this one was on the sheer side, but you got a lot of that beautiful hollow pigment and the magnetic pigment in there as well. Once again, it was just so reactive to that magnet that I was able to use the under finger technique. And that really helps with application because you don't have to worry about dinging your nail as you're holding on your magnet. This one was fully opaque in three coats. It dried down smooth, even though it had those micro glitters in the description. I didn't get any texture from them and I also didn't have any difficulty with removal. So here is what La Fiesta looks like in three coats, magnetized and then unmagnetized on my ring finger. Just super reflective, very holographic. This is one that I see myself reaching for next year around New Year's. Pictured are three coats of La Fiesta with a glossy top coat. Now we're going to take a look at the five beautiful polishes in the Simple Pleasures collection. This is a collection of beautiful crellies with glitters and flakies. The entire collection retails for $55, or the polishes individually will be $11.50. So we're starting with the beautiful turquoise. This is called Sleep In, and it's described as being a turquoise crelly with pink fuchsia and lavender metallic shreds, silver micro shreds, and mermaid flakes, as well as Aurora Shimmer. So a lot going on in here. Again, this one's going to retail for $11.50. So this was one of the standouts in this collection for me. I love turquoise bases. I just think they're super flattering on everyone. And the contrast between that gorgeous turquoise base and all of those flakies just made this one a winner. On application, definitely had a curly base, a little bit of sheerness on that first coat, but it built up to beautiful opacity for me in three coats. I think most people would be good in three. If you've got longer nails, you might see just a little bit of nail line, but honestly, I think three would suit most people. I was almost good in two. This one did dry down just slightly flat and with a tiny bit of texture from those flakies. However, it's nothing that a regular glossy top coat wouldn't smooth out just fine. Since this one just had shreds um, and flakes, there was no difficulty removing it. It's all flakies. Really pretty. Here's what it looks like in three coats of the glossy top coat. Love this color. Pictured are three coats of sleep in with a glossy top coat. Up next, we have Virtual Hugs, which is described as being a medium blue crelly with Aurora Shimmer and a mix of pink, purple, and blue metallic and holographic glitters. This one's also going to retail for $11.50. The base color for this is a beautiful mid-toned blue. It's bright and vibrant, but not too vibrant. Honestly, I don't usually gravitate towards this shade of blue in the wintertime. It's just a little bit brighter than I'm used to, but I could see this being a really beautiful polish for me in the fall, maybe even like summer transitioning to fall. Without the description in front of me, I don't know if I would have been able to pick out the colors of the glitters in here. They almost just appear to be a very light shade, <laughs> white, gray, although I do see some pink flash in there as well. And then the shimmer contrasts really nicely against that base. On application, this one had a smooth, easy to work with curly formula. I was so impressed that I had zero patchiness on that first coat. It went on very evenly. In two coats, I started to get a deeper base color, but 
to fe I feel like to get the base color that you see in the bottle, I really did need to build it up to three coats. And that also helped me get full opacity so that I had no visible nail line. So here's what three coats looks like. Isn't that shimmer so pretty? <laughs> so here's the full hand swatch, three coats of virtual hugs with a glossy top coat. Because of the glitters in here, this one did have a little bit of difficulty with removal and dried down with some texture. I did use the Colorista Carol, the leveler, the smoothing top coat from Colorista Carol with this polish and it gave it a beautiful glossy finish. So here's three coats of virtual hugs with a glossy top coat and the leveler. Up next is Weighted Blanket, which is described as being a deep violet crelly with metallic shreds and glitters and chameleon flakes. This one will also retail for $11.50. So beautiful base color here. It's a very cool blue toned purple base that is jam packed with those glitters. The glitters are a lot larger in here than we saw in virtual hugs. We've got great variety in size. I see squares, I see hexes, large and small, tons and tons of shreds and flakes. And they seem to come in every color. I see red in here, some pink. I see some maybe pastel purple glitters. A lot of the flakes are red and pink, blue. I see some green. This is like your everything but the kitchen sink kind of polish. So on application with this one, my brush was just a little bit wonky. It was splayed out quite a bit and not cut super evenly. So I feel like that created some unevenness in the application of this polish. But I do think with a regular brush, that wouldn't have been an issue at all. It, it really is beautiful on that first coat. No patchiness, just like with virtual hugs. On that second coat, we get more of those beautiful flakes and glitters. Um, like I said, some of them are just so giant <laughs> in here, which creates a really cool effect. But I did need three coats to reach full opacity with this polish. Whew, look at that giant red glitter. Um, I do feel like you could have reached opacity with this one in two coats if they were thicker, but where it just has so much in there, I was afraid two thick coats would get a little bit gloopy and three thin coats seemed perfect for me. So here's three coats of weighted blanket with the Colorista Carol Smoothing Top Coat, the Leveler, along with a glossy top coat, and it's so beautiful. Because of the glitters in here, it will dry down textured. I definitely would recommend a glitter smoother of some kind with this polish, and removal will be difficult. So here's three coats of weighted blanket with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat. The next polish we're looking at is called Binge Watching, and it's described as being a hot magenta pink with a mix of metallic glitters and iridescent chameleon flakes. It's also going to retail for $11.50. So I'm afraid on my monitor, this is coming off a little bit neon-y. It's definitely not a neon. I agree with the description. Hot magenta is a perfect way to describe this base, maybe even like a bright raspberry. Um, and I love the mix of glitters in this one. I think Colorista Carol did a great job pairing glitter mixes and flaky mixes with each of these bases because they're all so complementary. In binge watching, I see a lot of gold shift to the glitters, but I also see pink, purple, green, and orange, maybe red, and then of course all of those beautiful chameleon flakes in there as well. On the nail, this one was super, super squishy. I feel like it had just a little bit more of a juicy type base than the other curlies we've looked at so far. It built up to beautiful opacity for me in two coats, but I could see just a little bit of nail line. So I did go in for three and reached full opacity. Because of the glitters in here, it will be just a little bit difficult to remove. I actually didn't have too much trouble removing them because the glitters are pretty small, um, but Yes, you will need a little bit of scrubbing. So here's what three coats of binge watching looks like with the leveler. I do feel like that's helpful for this one. And a glossy top coat. It's so bright. <laughs> My camera's freaking out a little bit, but you get a beautiful sparkle from those gorgeous glitters in here. Really pretty. Pictured are three coats of binge watching with the leveler and a glossy top coat. And one of my top picks from this release is Cup of Joe, not only because I love a giant cup of coffee in the wintertime, but also because this polish is so beautiful. It's described as being a white curly with chameleon and mermaid flakes, and the price will be $11.50. So this is not a stark 
white curly. It's a white curly with a little bit of gray in it, I would say. And that's how I like my white curlies. I don't usually like stark white curlies on me. I like them to have just a little bit something extra added to them. Um, I think this color is super flattering on all the swatchers I've seen. It looks so beautiful. And the flaky mix is just too much fun. I see yellow, purple, pink, green. This is gonna sound really weird, but it looks like what fried rice looks like before you add the soy sauce. Like I see the red, um, the onion in there, the egg, the peas. Yeah, I'm weird, I'm sorry you all. <laughs> Application for this was so, so beautiful. Um, it was sheer because it's, it's white, but it built up beautifully on that second coat and reached full opacity for me in three coats. The flakies disperse themselves very nicely. I didn't have any trouble getting them on the nail. They're really packed in there. So again, I would recommend going in for three thinner coats, but I think you could also get away with two thicker ones. Because there's just flakies in here, no glitters, I didn't experience any texture, so glossy top coat will do you just fine, and I had no difficulty with removal. So here's Cup of Joe in three coats. Oh, gosh, this color is just so much fun. There's something about that grayed out base with the yellow flash of flakes in here that makes it so unique and fun and interesting to me. Pictured are three coats of Cup of Joe with a glossy top coat. And then the rest of the polishes I'm sharing with you in today's video are coming to the Colorist de Curl site, which I will link below on January 22nd. So first I'm gonna take a look at the Stellar Collection. This is actually an ongoing collection with Colorist de Curl every few months. It seems she releases two new polishes that contribute to the Stellar Collection. So she's got two polishes on her site right now from the last part of the seller collection. <laughs> and then these are the two new ones. So if you're interested in shopping those prior polishes, if you like this finish, they are still available. This one though is called Diadem and it's a multi-chrome that shifts gold to green to pink to red with Aurora Shimmer and purple reflective glitter. See, yes. Yes, I knew it had reflective glitter in there. <laughs> so cool. All right, so on application, this was a bit sheer than I thought it would be. I thought with that dark color in the bottle that it would be a two-coater, but I did need three coats to reach full opacity. And in three coats, it was so incredibly shifty and gorgeous. You all know I'm not the biggest lover of multi-chromes, but these had me swooning. They were so shifty, and I love the addition of the reflective glitter. Yes, man, I wish I would have taken some shots now um, with the flashlight. But even without the flashlight, here's in studio lighting and indirect lighting, you can see how those reflective glitters just sparkle in that multi-chrome base. They are so, so beautiful. And I do see all of the described shifts, um, gold, green, pink, red. It all depends on your lighting, but it is all there and so shifty and sparkly. Pictured are three coats of Diadem with a glossy top coat. And then the other addition to the seller collection coming to the site this month is called Sirius. It's described as being a multi-chrome that shifts blue to gold to orange to purple with Aurora Shimmer and purple reflective glitter. Each of these is going to retail for $12. So this one was really beautiful too. Again, I'm not the biggest lover of multi-chromes, but I found that the addition of the reflective glitter just made these so special. It just added the perfect amount of sparkle to make multi-chromes right up my alley. <laughs> um, I will say with, about this reflective glitter, it didn't dry down super textured. I think I did end up using the leveler on my final swatch photos, but I think you could get away with a glossy top coat. I also didn't have the worst time removing this. It wasn't super fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I would recommend a peel off base coat or soaking them off, but where it isn't a glitter bomb, like some of the reflective glitter polishes I've tried, it really wasn't too bad. Application for this one was similar to Diadem. It was a little bit sheer than I was expecting on that first coat, but we do get a lot of those glitters out and lots of that multi-chrome pigment as well. It's really pretty in two coats, but I could see just a little bit of nail line. So I ended up going in for three and loved the finished look. It was so beautiful. Look at all of that color. To me, this one really reminded me of um, like a galaxy, which I think that was what um, this whole collection is all about, judging by the name. <laughs> so here's what three coats of Sirius looks like with the leveler and a glossy top coat. 
The shifts I saw most with this one were from that beautiful, vibrant sapphire blue to purple and pink. I didn't see too much of the gold or orange, but I can kind of see it there, maybe on my pinky at extreme angles. I'm sure it's there, but you might see it just in certain lighting situations. Pictured are three coats of Sirius with a leveler and a glossy top coat. Next, we're gonna take a look at the Valentine's Day releases. These are also gonna to come to the Colores to Carol site on January 22nd. Most of the polishes individually are $11.50. The reflective glitter one is $12, or you can purchase the entire quad for $44. So this first polish we're looking at is a topper. It's called Love Letter, and it's a clear base topper with white, gray, orange, and pink glitters, and magenta, watermelon, pink, and white stars. That seems like such a simple description for such a crazy mixture of glitters in this polish. I mean, wow. <laughs> um, Carolina, you really outdid yourself with this one. So many fun glitters, lots of different sizes, squares, hexes, micro glitters, stars. I mean, you name it, it's in this polish. So I wanted to show you on application what it looked like built up in case that's how you're interested in wearing that. I know in one of my videos I've done recently, you guys said you were interested in seeing this, so I thought we'd give it a try. So on that first coat, definitely gives you topper vibes. Um, it applies really nicely. You could see still quite a bit of nail showing through, so you get a good amount of the topper on there, a good amount of those glitters there, but you can still see the base color. In two coats, you get even more of those glitters, but still not full coverage. And then in three coats, I thought it was a wearable mani. I would wear this in three coats by itself. It covered enough of the nail line to where you couldn't see too much of my staining. <laughs> um, and I got a lot of um, gorgeous glitters and they came out in a great mixture. I will say I did have to swirl my brush a little bit to get out some of the stars and I did want to do just a little bit of placement with them. Because of the glitters in here, it will be difficult to remove. Definitely recommend peel, peel off base coat or soaking it off and it does dry down quite textured. So here's what Love Letter looks like as intended in one coat over a gray cream, which I'll link down in the description box, a glitter smoother, the leveler, and a glossy top coat. Absolutely love this topper for Valentine's Day. And I think the stars, instead of them being hearts, makes it versatile enough to be used other times of the year too. Pictured is one coat of Love Letter with the leveler and a glossy top coat. Up next in this collection is Heart Breaker, which is described as being a white curly with pink, aqua, fuchsia, and lavender shreds. This polish is gonna be $11.50. So the base of this one is a beautiful, stark, white jelly base, and it's got all of those different size shreds, the turquoisey teal, the aqua, pink, fuchsia. It's a very soft and again, versatile combination. I could see this being worn in winter, but I think it'd be beautiful in springtime too. I found that Heartbreaker wasn't quite as packed with shreds as some of the other polishes I've shared with you in today's video, which gave it a more subtle, understated, delicate kind of feel. You get a lot of that white curly base and just a like splash of those shreds. On the nail, this one was quite sheer. We kind of just get a white wash of milky color <laughs> on that first coat. Not too many shreds, although they, I did find that they built up better on the second and third coats. I did have to be a little bit intentional about making, I got, making sure I got the shreds out with this one. They wanted to stick to the side of the bottle just a little bit, but when I got them and I got them out on the nail, like I said, they created a really subtle, delicate, understated look. And three coats, I did not reach full opacity with this one. I do have a very visible nail line though. So if you don't, I don't think that'll be a problem for you. If it is a problem for you, you may want to pair this with a blurring base to get full opacity. So here's what three coats of Heartbreaker looks like with a glossy top coat. Really fun mix of flakies in here. Because they're just flakies, I didn't have any issue with removal and they drive down smooth with a glossy top coat. I'm not the biggest fan of these more sheer white polishes on myself, so in the future, I will probably pair this one with some kind of blurring base. Pictured are three coats of Heartbreaker with a glossy top coat. 
Next, we have another standout. This one's called Butterflies, and it's described as being a light beige crelly with Aurora Shimmer and Chameleon Hollow Glitters. This one's going to retail for $11.50. Oh my goodness, I love this polish. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of glitter polishes, period. They just take a lot of work <laughs> with the glitter smoother and the peeling off and all of that. Sometimes I just don't have the patience, honestly. But... I love these delicate, dainty micro glitters. They are just so my style. And we get a beautiful flash of pink, purple, and lots of different hollow colors in here, as well as, I don't know. They It says, the description says Aurora Shimmer. Um, and I don't know. I feel like I see some teeny tiny bar glitters, which I watched Restored by Polish's videos. And I think they said they're called Flitties. Krista, if you're watching this, you'll have to let me know if these are what flitties are. <laughs> so on application, this one was pretty sheer. I was a little bit nervous that it wasn't going to build up to opacity, but I was so pleased that I did reach full opacity in three coats. This one is so packed with the glitters that it builds up really fast. So I would recommend going in for three thin coats so that you don't have a super chunky finish. Either way, you are going to have some texture because this has so many glitters. So I would suggest the leveler and a glossy top coat and peel off base coat. Yeah, because removal will be tricky with this one. So here's what three coats of butterflies looks like with the leveler and a glossy top coat. I wasn't expecting to like this one in the bottle because it looked kind of beige in the bottle, but on my nail, I just felt like it was kind of like an off white. I really, really enjoyed wearing this one. Super sparkly and another one that I could see myself wearing outside of Valentine's Day. Pictured are three coats of butterflies with a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat. And up next is the star of the show. This is XOXO, and it's described as being a bright red base with red reflective glitters. It's gonna retail for $12. If you purchase one polish out of this entire video, make it this one. If you have any interest in red or in reflective glitters, you should get this polish. <laughs> it's already made it to my list of favorite polishes from 2022. And it's only January. I mean, that says it all. The glitters are so sparkly. The base is a true vibrant cherry red. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. And it's not just stunning under flashlight. This kind of gives you an idea of what it would look like in sunlight. And yes, I will show you what it looks like in some sunlight in our video today, but this gives you an idea. It's gorgeous in every lighting. And the formula is perfect. <laughs> It's pretty much opaque on that first coat, but I did reach full opacity in two. I think everyone would reach full opacity in two. Because this is a glitter bomb, it is thick. So I would recommend going in for two thin coats. It dries down texture. It dries down super thirsty. Unless you like that look, you're going to want to add a glitter smoother and a glossy top coat. It kind of dries down to like a sandy, fine pixie dust finish, if that helps. Removal will be difficult to definitely pair this with a peel off base. So here's what it looks like. Two coats, the leveler, glossy top coat in the sunlight. Do you see the sparkle? Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. Just beautiful. So beautiful. And then here is what it looks like under flashlight. So to get this kind of a picture, you have to take it into some a dark area, shine some direct light on it. A flashlight or at nighttime under a street light and you get to see all of that red reflect my mind is blown this is so beautiful so beautiful i could not stop staring at my nails when i was wearing this <laughs> pictured are two coats of xoxo with the leveler and a glossy top coat and here's what it looks like under the flashlight again just well <laughs> And the final collection I have to share with you today is the Cosmic Dust Collection, which is a collection of six beautiful toppers. Um, they're all filled with different kinds of mermaid flakes. They're going to retail for $12 each, or you can buy the entire collection for $68. 
So this first one we're looking at is called Blue Flash, and it's described as being color-shifting mermaid flakes that shift blue to green to purple to orange. In the bottle, I'm seeing a lot of that beautiful blue. Um, it has a slightly purple lean to it, and then I'm just seeing like splashes of the green and the purple and the orange in there as well. Um, but it's mostly blue on the nails. So I'm going to be swatching all of them over black today, and then I'll show you a Skittle Manny for the full hands shot. As you can see over black, you get a whole lot of that blue flaky action, <laughs> and you can see um, some splashes of red in there as well, but mostly blue. Really pretty and glowy and kind of mysterious. So here's what it looks like. Over a Skittle of different colors, we've got a kind of raspberry pink on the left, a grapey purple on the ring finger and navy and then a teal it shows up best over darker colors um, but yeah just a really pretty glowy blue topper picture it as one coat of blue flash with a glossy top coat Up next, we're taking a look at bow tie, which is described as being a topper with color shifting mermaid flakes shifting from green to blue to orange to purple. So this one has a lot more colors in it, it seems, in the bottle. And I can see all of them, and I feel like more. So I definitely see the described colors, the green, the blue, the orange, the purple. But I feel like I see some pink in there. I feel like I see gold. It's really beautiful. And these kind of iridescent rainbowy toppers are some of my favorite. On application, bow tie was very easy to work with. We got a lot of flakies out just in that one coat. And I feel like we get a lot more colors with this one than we did with blue flash. That one was more on the subtle side. This one has a little bit more to say. <laughs> So here's what it looks like over that same Skittle. Really beautiful over every color. I especially loved it over the purple, blue, and green. We get a whole lot of that bright, limey green flake in this one, and the other colors kind of take a backseat, but they're definitely there. Pictured as one coat of bow tie with a glossy top coat. Up next, we have Flame, which is described as being a color-shifting mermaid flaky topper that shifts gold to orange to copper to green to pink. Again, each of these is going to retail for $12, or if you like them all, you can get them all for $68. So this one was a standout for me in this collection because I felt like it was so easy to tell apart from the other toppers. Some of them, a few of them, and I will show you a full comparison of the six side by side at the end. Um, but this one I could definitely tell apart from all the rest. Some of them kind of looked a little bit similar, but this one looked like none of them because it just has such a warm blend of flakies. I get a lot of the pink, but I also get a lot of the gold and copper orange as well. Applying this one over black brought out a lot of the red and pink shift in this, and I thought it was so gorgeous. I think this one would be really pretty over black for like an anti-Valentine's Day look. So here's what it looks like in one coat over that Skittle with a glossy top coat. All of these dry down on the flat side, so definitely recommend pairing them with a glossy top coat. Again, pink is the biggest standout color in this one, but I do see the copper and orange, some gold in there as well. Really, really fun. Picture it as one coat of flame with a glossy top coat. The next polish we're going to look at is called Hourglass, and it's a color shifting mermaid flaky topper that shifts green to blue to pink to orange. It's going to retail for $12. So this one in the bottle and on the nail a little bit reminded me of bow tie. They have similar descriptions too. They both shift green. They both shift blue, um, but they both shift orange too. But Hourglass has more of a pinky shift in it, and bow tie has more of a purpley shift in it. So if you like pink, go with Hourglass. If you like purple, go with bow tie. <laughs> Can't go wrong with either. They're both gorgeous and very close. Just like all the rest, Hourglass had a beautiful, easy to work with formula. I was really pleased with the ratio of base to flakes in here. I feel like you got just enough flakes to where you could still see the base color really well, but they weren't too sparse on the nail. So here's what one coat of Hourglass looks like over that Skittle with a glossy top coat. We see a little bit less of the green over the lighter colors and more of a beautiful rainbow. I love that about this topper and one more in the collection that I feel like we truly got a rainbow. 
Picture it as one coat of hourglass with a glossy top coat. Next up is Lagoon, which is described as having color shifting mermaid flakes that shift purple to teal to green to pink. Price is gonna be $12 and wow, name for this is perfect. Not a lagoon, I know, but it kind of reminds me of like seaweed floating in the ocean. It's very aquatic to me and I like it. <laughs> we get a lot of that green in the bottle, some of that purple as well, and the teal. I feel like you can see all of the described colors for this one at all times over every color. So here's what Lagoon looks like over black, and yep, I see all the described colors, the purple, the teal, the green, and the pink and on the sides there. The purple's on the sides too. Really pretty. Oh man, I'm glad I like greens now. <laughs> so here's what Lagoon looks like over that Skittle with a glossy top coat. I just feel like this one looks gorgeous over every color. I will say in general, I prefer iridescent flaky toppers over deeper colors. So yeah, I'm really liking it over the navy. <laughs> Picture it as one coat of Lagoon with a glossy top coat. And the final polish I have to share with you from this set and my favorite, I think, from this collection is Rosette. It's got color shifting mermaid flakes that shift pink to orange to green to purple. It's gonna retail for $12 too. So this one is quite similar to bow tie and hourglass. They do share a lot of the same shifts. I don't know that you'd need all three, but if you're looking to pick one out of the three, personally, I would pick this one. I just really like the combo of the pink and the purple together and that paired with the orange and green, I feel like just gives you a full spectrum of color. I truly feel like you see an entire rainbow in this bottle. On application, this one went on like the others. Great ratio of base to flakes here. I did feel like the flakes in this one were slightly more crushed than some of the others that had larger flakes, but I like that because they spread out a little bit easier on the nail and gave you a more full coverage look. So here is what Rosette looks like over that Skittle with a glossy top coat. Just check it out. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. Just check it out over that navy nail. Look at all those colors. I see gold, green, pink, purple, copper. It looks like a rainbow. I'm here for it. <laughs> sure it is one coat of Rosette with a glossy top coat. So here's a comparison for you of all of the Cosmic Dust toppers. I feel like Flame Lagoon and Blue Flash look completely different from each other and from all the polishes in this collection, but Rosette, Bowtie, and Hourglass look quite similar to me, so I'm gonna give you the differences. So all three of those polishes have green and orange shifts in them, but Bowtie and Hourglass both have a shift to blue. Hourglass and Rosette both have a shift to pink, and Rosette and Bowtie both have a shift to purple. So Bowtie is going to be a little bit cooler, Rosette has more pinky purple tones, and Hourglass kind of has all of it. I feel like those are similar enough to where you wouldn't need all three, but then again, I know some of you really love your toppers, so maybe you do. Let me know in the comments what you'd grab. Again, my favorite out of the set is Rosette. So those are all of the beautiful polishes that are coming to the Colors to Curl site in January. Let me know down in the comments what you think you'll be grabbing. And I do have a code for you to use when you shop on the Colors to Carol site. If you use code RAE at checkout, R-A-E, then you will get 10% off your order. It's not an affiliate code, no commission is made, it's just there for you in case you want to save some money. All right, with so many beautiful releases, I have to narrow it down and choose a few favorites. So here are my standouts. Personally, I'm not the biggest lover of magnetic polishes. They just are very time consuming. That being said, I was completely in love with the Anniversary Trio. I thought all three polishes were absolutely gorgeous. The magnetic pigment is so amazingly reactive to the magnet. Definitely recommend grabbing these. From the Simple Pleasures collection, my two favorites were Sleep In and Cup of Joe. Um, with Cup of Joe, I just loved how packed it was with those beautiful flakies, and I really love the base color of Sleep In. And then my final standouts, last ones I promise, were from the Valentine's Day quad. I really liked XOXO, Love Letter, and Butterflies. I thought XOXO, the reflective glitter, was just so beautiful and I don't love glitter polishes that often um, but the way this one reflected the light was just insane. <laughs> I was also such 
a fan of Love Letter, the glitter topper. I just really enjoyed all of the different glitters in here. There were so many colors, so many different sizes and shapes. It was beautiful, and I think it looked great over so many different colors. And then one I was not expecting to love so much was Butterflies, which is the off-white glitter curly. I just love these dainty, fine glitters. I think they're so delicate, and again, the mix of colors is super unique. So those were my standouts. Let me know in the comments what yours were and if you think you'll be grabbing any of them. While you're here, you should totally check out some of my recent videos. Last week, I did a live stream sharing with you some polishes that will be available for the January Hella Handmade Creation Shop. I also reviewed last week the newest releases from Wildflower Lacquer, their Sophisticated 2.0 collection, and their Rainbow Fish collection. And I also made a video sharing with you my very favorite polishes that were released in 2021, and yes, there was a Calorista Carol in there. I'll link all of those videos down in the description box so you can check them out. Hopefully this video was helpful for you in figuring out what to grab. If it was, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!